I think actually yeah. that they are be be generally beautiful mm. things. Maybe not so much cordyceps, but otherwise, you know, lion's yeah. mane, reishi, yeah. they are absolutely stunning mushrooms. And I think mm. people are always blown away by how beautiful they are. Mm. Um, so it's, it's really nice that they're starting to get some attention here, I feel, because it's very much deserved. And I guess really we need to talk about why they're getting the attention because mm. from our perspective as practitioners, we use them because of their amazing therapeutic benefits. So mm. what makes, you know, how do they um, exert such great benefits and what are the benefits we get from them? Yeah. So, you know, one of the wonderful things about mushrooms is that unlike a lot of herbal medicines, which, um, you know, maybe you can just use for a short amount of time or they might have interactions with medications or they might have, you know, active compounds that are useful in the short term. But if you take them for too long, then they can have a negative effect on the body. Mushrooms, unless you're allergic to mushrooms. So if you can't eat food mushrooms, you can't have medicinal mushrooms. But other than that, they're pretty much something that is safe for everyone. They can be used by children. They can be used by animals. Um, and they're, you know, we could call them a functional food, although they're also used as a... Um, as a, a, a herbal medicine. So they kind of cover those two you know, areas. So a nutritionist can comfortably use them, yeah. but also a herbal medicine practitioner or a naturopath can use them. And then of course, in the traditional Asian um, herbal medicine traditions, they are, they are used. Um, so safety is, a, is an amazing thing. The fact that they can be used long-term um, and the fact that they have a lot of compounds that are only available in mushrooms and, um, they the more that they're being studied the more that people are seeing that actually they do numerous things and uh, the main thing that any mushroom that you eat whether it's a culinary mushroom uh, or a medicinal mushroom on some level it's going to be helping to modulate the immune system mm. and that means that it's helping to either raise immune immunity when needed and also lower immunity when needed um, and that's really important because i think historically people thought mushrooms were just immune stimulants yeah. and that then limits because say if someone has an autoimmune condition, you don't want to stimulate the immune system. Yeah. So there's a lot of really useful immune herbs that you just can't use in someone with an autoimmune condition. Whereas because mushrooms have this modulating effect, mm. you know, you can help someone who's, you know, recovering from a virus or is kind of chronically getting coughs and colds and has to take, you know, uh, medication um, because they have an autoimmune condition, which is suppressing their yes. immunity. You could then give this person a mushroom and know that it's going to be supporting them with their sort of coughs and colds without actually counteracting their yeah. medicine that is, you know, helping keep their autoimmune condition in check. I think that's a really good explanation and highlighting that they are immune modulating. Mm. So, you know, we always think with the immune system, don't we, that if it's underactive, it's a problem because you can get sick. Mm. If it's overactive, it's a problem because we end up with autoimmunity and allergies. Yeah. Mm. So it is about getting that, that balance and we want to make sure we're optimally functioning here. So I guess what the mushrooms do is they kind of bring us back to that level of balance. Mm.